and back at this one. Hello, humans. Human. So, um, I just wanted to have a little look around, get some gems and some relics if I feel like it. I'm pretty sure I 100% of this, so I don't know why I'm looking. Uh, it's been a while. I thought I'd just, you know, long week at work. Just gonna do something for fun. It was between this and playing some classic Street Fighter, but that felt a little too, like, intense right now. <laughs> like, I'd actually have to be done pretty burnt out, so I'm just gonna, you know, do something that doesn't really require much in the way of brain. Ooh. That one's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Did it. So we got the tomb time. I mean, I can't remember. There's a split path in tomb time, and that's the problem because you have to go back and forth. But I don't think, like, so long as you're careful and you clear everything, it's not too bad. You just got to do the gem path, and then it sends you to a the wrong part and you have to go back a little bit. Yeah, I have all my superpowers. That's also why I like Crash 3 the most, because they really added like a bunch of superpowers and it made it kind of fun, you know, to have that. Ooh. Fuck, that actually made me jump. I thought, I, you know, I felt like it was like I stood on the button and I, my brain went as I stood on the button. Now, is this first touch to, and it's on a timer, or is it as soon as I release, like my weight comes off of the button and it was the, the former rather than the latter? It's fine. There's no judgment here, except from... Oh, I just did it fucking again. You can see it's like... Yeah, there we go. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. First time I saw that in HD, the, the squish. The door squish. I just don't fuck around as much. Oh, I fucked around too much! I'm scared of them now. I've got door PTSD. Oh. Oh yeah, I have this. Pointless, but eh, kind of fun. Ah, oh, this is where it fucks up. Oh, balls. It's fine. I saved it, I saved it. Whee. Handy, visible box counters and everything. Really like that about this game. Really tells you if you've done goofed. Which I'm sure we will do sooner or later, but what matters is we just break every box. Kill these monkeys. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. Uh. This guy's slow. Oh. Oh, I thought he jumped on it. And that it didn't count then. Well, I just wasted it. Oh, don't you love it? So. My cat is now attempting to destroy everything. 
No, please. The moment we get to the hard bit, really. Oh, he's gonna turn off the PlayStation or something stupid. Oh my god, really? You can see they just litter the place with boxes and then you have to slowly make your way back. And you can't die, I don't think, because then the boxes would respawn. I mean, we're gonna probably see in a minute. Um there we go. You you wanna eliminate as much as you can. Just to make your life easier, you just want to eliminate in case you're backtracking the same way. Oh, me fuck myself over there. We. So you can see now we have to go backwards, and the camera really isn't designed for you to go backwards. And there, remember, there are doors. That wall, like, if you stand next to them, walking backwards will just slam shut on you and kill you instantly. So I'm not even sure if we can go backwards in the way I'm doing it here. All I know is we can stop the block man from fucking with us, but... Ugh. But now look. I've now made my life much harder. Ooh, I nearly fucking kill myself. No, thank you. Okay, fuck me, I guess. Seriously. And let me guess. Yep. Sends me all the way back and we have to do the whole fucking thing again, so that's great. So, I'm trying to work out, is it best to go forward than backwards? Because I'm pretty sure there are bits like you can't go backwards on for this. See, you've got to go backwards through one of them. And you can't go backwards through this one because it's got that door that will slam on you. But this one has this door. Which you can see, I literally need to press this to get the... But I can't go backwards the other way because the boxes need to be hollowed out. God fucking damn it. We're just gonna have to see what I can do. Maybe if I break those boxes there and then the next is the door, I don't have to go all the way back, right? Because I just broke those boxes that were before the door. It's not like they don't give you enough wonder fruits to survive virtually everything. I'm sure that I'm sure it'll be the it will you know ooh, that felt like bullshit. But like I get it, I did land pretty square on it. God I hate I hate slidey shit. I hate slidey shit. I really oh my god. Fuck off with slidey shit. See that's not too bad. But you gotta get these boxes, which are literally put here for troll purposes. And you can't go backwards now because there's that door that's gonna slam on your ass. I'm really confused. But the whole thing feels like it's designed to fuck with you, if I'm totally honest. And the fact that there's no checkpoint at any point for this, it feels also kind of bullshit. Now, I still wanna kill him because he's just a problem and he's going to be squishing me when I can't. Oh, wait, why am I even doing this, right? I 
can just bazooka them. Oh, I can't on the, the ties. There was literally a checkpoint right here when I got, I just slid because of this the wonky ice star sliding physics. Also, I don't really get the whole tar thing. I'm not sure if there was actually... Whatever. I think I said that before. Is that historically accurate? Oh, great. Dodge one to get murdered by another. Oh, great. I'm, I'm glad this is a thing. Jump on the platform that you can barely fucking see. And has gone forever, apparently. There we go. Well, at least I can do this bit. Or not. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, great. So you can, but you just gotta take huge leaps of faith. And that's all of them. So you see this door? If I stood here, it would just instantly wreck me, so let's just not do that, and we'll be fine. And let's not get hit by anything, and we'll be fine. I will now get hit by something, because these are done in such a way that you can't just double jump over everything. Ah, oh, there's no man to massacre us, so that's great. I will get hit by something really fucking petty and I'll just be like, are you serious now? Like, I'll fall down this hole, watch. Watch me just do something really stupid. <laughs> Every single thing is anxiety peaking within me. Okay, good. See, it wasn't that bad. I only died twice, but it was just the agonizing backtracking every time you die on that one. So, that was still 12 minutes. Just at that, that level, so. So that's basically this walk room done if I am. I mean, yeah, you can sit and argue that I haven't planned and relicked everything, but to be honest, I've got at least basic shit. Now we got this one, which was not a similar problem with backtracking. Uh, trouble, high time, oh, yeah, these, just a problem in general, double header, so, I mean, we can have a little shot at this, but the, the problem with on rails ones where you can't reverse, it's like, if I could literally just turn the car, the bike backwards, I mean, I wouldn't have to worry, would I? Because it's not like you have to even come first. You have to hit every box. That's all you have to do. Oh! I didn't touch that. That's bullshit. At least it gives you the restart. If you do the time trial, it restarts it. And immediately miss one. This is just... The reason I don't like these... Like, I really like the motorbike levels. The reason I really hate the motorbike levels is the bike handles really weird, where it's kind of lurchy in places and you can't turn fast enough, so you've really got to be like aimed at something, and if you just over-feather it at the last minute because like, you're avoiding a fucking stopwatch with a hitbox larger than its fucking model, it just becomes a problem. Like, you know, I'm favoring it trying to hit the angle correctly. That's break, okay. Great, it fucked up my entire tra trajectory. Can I turn backwards? Yeah, you can't. Oh, you can use those triggers, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, that's just gonna be a pain in the ass. Because it's like, do everything perfectly whilst things are literally wrecking your shit the whole time, busting you out of the way. I'll give it one more try, but I really don't like the fact that I have to load in and out each time. That's just an unnecessary, annoying twinge. It's like, once you got the crystal, it should allow you to restart these instantly. 
Well, there's no reason that they shouldn't do that, even if you don't have the crystal. Now I'm going to use a right and left trigger like it's a racing game. Remember when the PlayStation era just completely forgot that they had triggers and didn't use them for any acceleration, deceleration, or shooting? So it was like, hey, we made these giant flappy paddle triggers on the R2, L2. Uh, yeah, make sure all of the PlayStation games don't use that in your life. Okay. <laughs> oh, great, I fucked up again. It took them a while, and it took the Xbox much less time to work out, hey, we've made these triggers, make sure that the games that are like our flagship games uh, use the triggers and tell other games, such as Epic Games for Gears of War, that that's what they're for, so that they use them correctly. Whereas, like, Uncharted and a load of them were, like, R1 to an R1 and L1 to aim and shoot the gun, and you were like, are you, like, actually dumb? And like, a lot of racing games were still using R1 to accelerate. And, like, the R1 buttons on the PlayStation controller are not pleasant to touch and hold down for long periods of time. They're very spiky and, like, small and narrow, and they fuck up your finger. So I was always a bit like, hmm, thought this was a good idea. See, look, they literally just blocks you from certain ones. Trolley bullshit. I'm not really getting well with these triggers, but that's just me being dumb. Nice scenery. I can see why one of my friends wants to do a motorbike trip of America, but I'm like, you know, there's a lot of, like, in the middle of America where there's not really much and not a really ideal route to take that isn't just days of you driving out in the middle of the fucking boonies. But, like, um, you know, I think doing the coasts would be fun. Uh, and maybe doing something like Arizona or Utah or something. But, you know, I'm, I'm not an experienced enough rider to do that right now. Uh, need to do something a little smaller. There are some great ideas online. If you ever feel like, oh, I really want to like get into biking, I have my license, I have international licenses or whatever, you can you can get some really neat ideas. More slip pathing thing shit. Bye bye glimpse. It might be the death route actually, because I think the first one's the box gem. See, like, the box gems in slot one of the gems. There's a time trial for bye bye gems. See, that's the box gem. So, Sphinx and Aiden may be like some sort of death route. Tomb Raider, oh yeah, that's a good one. Well, I'll try this one. This is some sort of hidden death route gem thing. Oh, blue gem path, okay. I think, anyway. Or I'm wrong. We'll, we will find out sooner or later. Uh. Well, let's just play the game as is and we'll try and find the blue gem path. I don't think that was the blue gem path. There wasn't any blue gem in sight. And I've got the blue gem. See a blue gem. If it's like we have to do both paths, it's like, okay. Ooh. A couple of people have been watching my <laughs> exploits lately on this and have been horrible horrified on how, like, I miss boxes or I just easy deaths because I literally stand on, like, a falling platform for way too long and, like, dumb fucking deaths that are really frustrating to watch. 
and I hate that when I uh, watch LPs or it's like, come on, you're just fucking like, you know, like missing shit, missing fruits and stuff, it messes with people's mind goblins a lot, and you're like, yeah, I'm sorry about that, viewers, they fuck up a lot. Feels like the explosion's got bigger there. Ah, that's just in the middle. It's just in the middle. Okay. I never would have thought it was on the normal path and just in the middle, so there's that. Let's see. Oh, they give me a checkpoint. So that means it's going to be horribly hard and there's a lot of tar. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> yeah, I can see what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> Please! Oh fuck you with a dick swizzle! Oh my god! Okay, okay, calm. 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 There you go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. What, did he just get covered in feces and it was just like, oh, okay, game over. <laughs> like, before it used to be that he, like, kind of turned to stone when the monkeys hit him because he's throwing clay at you or something. Oh, he's throwing bombs at you, but he just gets a bit soot covered. I was, like, misreading that and saying, well, you know, monkeys fling their feces at people, so... <laughs> like, crash, he just had feces flung at him. <laughs> no, like the response was, oh, well, I c I'm not dead, I'm just disgusted, <laughs> so I just quit. And it's like, okay, yeah, that's kind of funny. Um, shit. <laughs> I just body slammed him all. We were right near the end there. So it's not very long, it's just I'm being incompetent. I'm sorry. You've seen basically every way I can die on this level at the moment, so there's that. Content has been made. Oh, I can still throw. That physics shit, I fucking hate it so much with the... Oh, you can still be, like, fighting it backwards and the physics of your momentum from before will just fuck you over to the point that you're just like, really? I'm just can't stop myself from sliding into the fucking hole. The problem is here. Oh. Well, I said I've never been hit by a snake before. I was hit by a snake. So, didn't kill me though. Would have pissed me off if it killed me. Look, progress. Mostly Egyptian progress. That's the theme for this LP. Egyptian themed progress. Shall we make it a 3 for 33? Get the Tomb Waiter. Oh god, it's gonna be really hard, isn't it? There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a split path or a death route that, you know, you have to do or something, and it's got boxes in or some bullshit. It'll be something that I'm just... Okay. <laughs> well... I hope you like the Egyptian theme tune, because you can just be hearing it a lot. I want this one, one per fruit. I, no, I don't want to play, I want to cheat. Yeah, know your place, trash. Oh wait, I could just... <laughs> let's just use my cheat gun. I mean... Who's gonna stop me? The cops. The Egyptian cops. Who 
do 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 I feel like he falls more slowly. I'm not going to hit that until I know what it does, which is a good rule for people. Oh, okay. Gonna play hard, are you? <laughs> okay. What do you do? That was the most flaccid fucking jump I've ever seen. So I literally every single jump in the triple jump, shallow jumped and flopped forwards. Otherwise that would have been fine. God fucking damn it. Painful deaths for painful views. Oh, just hit the fucking box. No one's here to watch me hit a flat tile for an hour. Yes, I did the basic jump. See, even though I'm dying a lot, I've actually upped the number of lives I've had because the whole thing is like... Uh, the whole thing is like collecting all the wonders and getting all the boxes and shit. So it's just like, they give you so many wonders and boxes in Crash 3 that you're just literally like, even if you're dying a lot, it's like, oh well, it's not like I'm not drowning in lives and want the fruits. I have this horrible cheat gun, which just makes the game trivial. Uh, I could wait and go back and forth picking up these boxes, or I could just sit here shooting them with my gun. I just don't get why I haven't got this before, so that makes you think this gotta be something I'm missing here. Oh, you little shit. Look at this little fuck. Look at him. Smug bastard. Hey, you've got to detonate the nitros by, like, the gun or something weird. You can even hit that... Like, I could have even hit the checkpoint box and killed myself and teleported forwards with a life. Ah, uh, you know what it is. That's gotta be done, right? But if you do the death fruit, it sends you out a different way. And that's how you get the blue gem. So yeah, that's not the right answer. Oh, you can hit this with it. Oh, that's interesting. Why you want to is beyond me. Oh, see. Oh, well. oh, it tried to bolt me on the head. Yeah, that's why you don't hit it with the gun. Oh, <laughs> weird timing there, maybe kill myself. I just don't get it. Do I have to go forward then back and do the death route? Is that the thing? What am I missing here? We'll see, right? Because I think we're near the end of this level. Ooh. All this for a palm of another famous, like, PS1 series that was very popular around the same time. Just so he isn't a problem later. Target neutralized.
Water has kind of got a weird thing where you can't really see the parameters of the water well. I mean, I'm getting quite a lot of these boxes. I'm just going to sit here and shoot boxes. That's weak. level we're at. Oh, I was so lost shooting, I lost track of when the water was going up and down, so that was just weird and time-wasting. Sorry. I apologize a lot for my terrible gameplay. Yeah, like I said, I don't get as much time as I used to to do this stuff, so that's my excuse. New map. Hey, like, see, that's quite a high number of boxes. Um, I think we're kind of near the end, so. Oh. Oh. I'm missing something. Or am I? Oh, the nitros and the death route are probably the last ones. Well, we shall see. It might not be the end of the level, it might just be. Sometimes they put a detonate box. Oh, somehow I just missed this basically go through the level, no backtracking. Okay. Ugh, content. So I hope you enjoyed your Egyptian theme completion run. Actually made progress for once. Let's see how much progress. 88%, 33 out of 47 gems. Hmm. Shall I cut it there so that if I fuck up it doesn't matter? I can just upload the non-fuck up part.